Hey guys, Ivan here, and um, let me just go ahead and say it, Sean Rodden is winning 2019 Mr. Olympia. Yep, yep, he is winning it, no doubt about it at this point. His body is changing so fast, what the hell, what the hell? I had no idea that he's gonna be this good at this point in time, in two and a half months out. I had no idea, honestly, um, he tricked me, he got me. I thought he's out of the mix, I thought he would be even out of the top 5 or something like that, but god damn, he looks freaking crazy right now. His body responded so well, so fast, I can't believe it. Yeah, I made a couple of videos bashing on him, but look, if Brandon Curry shows up looking soft and soggy, I'm gonna talk trash about him as well. I don't have the favorite guy in this race, I don't have favorites. No, whatever happens, I report it to you and I say my honest opinion. I am not under any kind of contract and I don't need one. And right now, I can say whatever the hell I want. So whatever I think, I'm gonna say it. And you can like it or you can hate it, but this is just my opinion. This is how I see it. And right now, based on this photo right here, based on this physique, I gotta say it. He's winning 2019 Mr. Olympia. No, he's not gonna be Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry may take second place, but he's not beating Sean. No way, no way, man. The thing is, Sean is so complete. He has so many details when he's shredded. Brandon doesn't have those kind of details. He does not. And his legs are not as good as Sean's. And if Sean is looking like this, and if Sean is looking like this, it's two and a half months out. Brandon cannot beat him. Nobody can touch him. Nobody. Honestly, I did not expect him to look this good at this point. I thought he's gonna be soft. I had no idea that he's gonna be able to pack on this kind of mass and be this lean. And still have two and a half months to improve on this. I think in all likeness he's gonna beat his 2018 shape. I think he's gonna come fuller with the same details and the same conditioning. Sean is obviously a hyper responder, like Kevin Lebroni was. It's, it's obvious now. Now we know it. Now I know it. Now we all know it. Now we're not gonna make the same mistake that we made a month ago or two months, however it was, when we thought that there is no chance of him actually bringing up that muscle and coming this shredded. It's just mind-blowing. Mind-blowing what he was able to make in such a short time span. Crazy. And I'm saying Sean is gonna beat it, assuming, assuming that Phil Heath doesn't show up. And it seems like it. Unfortunately, it does seem like it as the time goes on. No signs of Phil's comeback. He just said once that he's skipping 2019 Mr. Olympia right after he lost the title. He did not say anything else later. So probably we're not gonna see Phil hit. Maybe not even Big Grammy, but I don't think Big Grammy can beat Sean. No way. I don't think Big Grammy can ever have details like Sean does. So I think it's very safe to say right now we're gonna have two times Mr. Olympia Sean Roden. Very deservedly so. His physique is not super impressive physique. This is not Ronnie Coleman. This is not Phil Heath at his best. This is not Jake Cutler. This is not Dorian Yates at his best. No, this is Sean Roden. And the thing is, today's lineup is weak. Today's lineup is trash. Let's be honest. Who do we have? Rolly Winkler, Bonek, Brandon Curry. They all have major flaws. Big Ram, Nathan Diashes, Hedrick McMillan. They all have huge flaws. They are not great epic bodybuilders. They have their own strengths, but they are nothing like Kevin Leveroni, Flex Wheeler, Sean Ray, Dorian Yates, you know, those kind of guys. No, he has a weak lineup, but Sean is complete. Look at him here, look at him here. I mean, his chest, nothing crazy about the chest, but it's there. It's not lacking. His arms, not feel heat arms, not huge arms, but they are there. Shoulders, not feel heat shoulders again, not Jay Cutler's shoulders. But the shoulders are not lacking, they are there. Arms could be a little bit bigger, chest could be a little bit bigger. The same thing with his shoulders, but they are not small. Legs, not Tom Platt's legs, not Ronnie Coleman legs, not Kai Green legs also. But they are not weak. They are not weak. And his legs are actually really good. Really good, not the best legs in the history of the world. But very, very good legs. You cannot say that his legs are not very good. You cannot see his back in this photo, but his back is also good. It's not crazy back, it's not Dorian back, it's not Ronnie back, not Phil back, but it's a good back. 
he has traps, he has lats, he has rhomboids, he has real delts, he has spinal erectors, he has very, very good glutes. That's one of his strongest points. Very, very good glutes. But the back is there. The back is there, the, the, the legs are there, everything is there. Everything is there and he just proved it to us that he was able to pack on the muscle that he lost, that he is able to get in shape very, very fast. And this is a really good shape for two and a half months out. And I think it's very, very safe to say that Sean is two times Mr. Olympia, the 2019 winner. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section below. Tell me, are you impressed with his physique? Do you think he has the chances to lose the title? I don't think so. I don't think so. The only chance would be if Phil Heath comes back and comes much improved. That's the only way. Anything else, out of the question. Out of the question. Sean is my favorite right now. Make sure to like the video, guys, and to subscribe to see more content like this. All the best. Bye-bye.